Well, hey there, hi there, ho there, fish cleaning freaks. I guess you probably saw the thumbnail and you said to yourself, good God, look at that big lineup of Dexter Russells in their sheaths up against a Dexter Russell three-way ceramic stone sharpening device. Yep, that's what that is, folks. Three different coarsenesses. Is that a word? Coarsenesses? I don't think so. But please correct me in the comments below if you're an English teacher. Come on! But, <laughs> all right. Well, I got this used on eBay. Don't really have any instructions for it. But I kind of have the gist of what it's all about. Just don't know the exact coarsenesses. I'm still just trying to figure that out. I would think this is the finest, the white. This might be actually a, like a medium. And this might be, I don't know, the hardest. I don't know. Okay, well, that's a whole different subject. That's not why we are here today in Captain Dave Sport Fishing Charters, Jacksonville, Florida. That's not the reason we're in my wolf den. The wolf den is where many tabletop reviews I don't like well screw that I don't like reviews I don't like the word review show and tell review well maybe this is a review because I'm gonna patch in some footage here uh, a review is actually using something not sitting there chit-chatting about it you know these guys do all these knife reviews you don't see them doing anything and there's one out, I mean, and the, I don't know why these guys got so much of a following. They don't do shit. Okay, excuse my French. But what we have here is a serrated, hence the S, an 8-inch, and two sevens. These are Dexter Russell blades. And... Um, this is actually sort of a follow-up of this video right here. The brand new Dexter Outdoors 24783 with the black Dex Guard coating. All right, first time usage. This this is easy speckled sea trout. Well, despite the Dex Guard coating on this knife, brand new, if you saw my other video, my show and tell, this is the first time I used it. I was thoroughly impressed. I really like it. But still, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to make sure it's 100% dry. And... I'm gonna put a little dab of do you on here. A little corrosion X. Alright, I keep a little bottle of it right here on my console. Oh, it wanted to cut me. All you have to do is just barely touch this baby. And I got my Dexter Russell sheath. It's ready to go for tomorrow's fish cleaning session. So, I keep all these in my console where it's good and dry. There's, there's nothing like a brand new knife. I mean, come on. 
When you got a brand spanking new blade. There ain't nothing like it. Now keeping it as sharp. Yeah, that's the big problem. I used to have a friend of mine that used to come into the bait shop all the time. And he'd always, I'm going fishing. Oh, okay. And he'd buy a new knife. I said, man, don't you got knives? He says, yeah, but I wear them out and they get rusty and they get dull. So I just throw them away because I don't know how to sharpen a knife. Well, I guess that's more money than common sense. Just learn how to sharpen a knife or just keep the edge. And this was a follow-up of a show and tell with my new Dexter Russell, but it has the Dex Guard black finish on it, which is something I've always wanted to try. Signing off. All right, well, it's a follow-up of when these, a few of these were brand new. Now it is, I don't know how long later, but it's quite a bit later. And these have been used hard. They're never put up wet. They're never abused. They're used, but I don't abuse anything. I take care of my stuff. You know why? Because when you're poor, you take care of your stuff. You need to last a long time. Let's go to this one because the serrated one is the one I probably use the least. Now you'll take notice that even though I, well, no, this one's kind of damp. I don't know how it got damp, but I'll put some corrosion block on here. There is a few, just a little orangey spots on the serrations here. I got to take care of that, of course. But this is a Dexter Russell Outdoors Made in USA serrated blade fillet knife in black. Now, I have probably only used this knife since I received it maybe three times. And you can't probably see it. But I thought that this black coating, and I mean, come on, really? I was under the guise, that's a 50 cent word for y'all, of the black coating being, making this knife possibly, and all these knives, far superior than to a, just a polished blade. I think I was wrong. Right there on my fingernail, right there on my thumb. The black coating is coming off. Right there. The black coating is starting to come off. But that ain't the first part. Check it out. That <clears throat> is some serious black coating coming off this one has been really used and the black coating just is peeling off as if it's just paint I mean look at this watch can you see this now what I need to do is just oh my god it's coming off this is the first time I ever sat here and really inspected them oh my god well, I thought the black coating was to protect the blades. Looks like I'm going to take all this black coating off and I'm just going to polish it. These are my 100% go-tos. I'm just going to scrape all this off. Or should I just leave it? Maybe I'll just leave it. I'm just going to sharpen the living daylights out of these things because they need it right now. But this is the follow-up to the video clip that I just showed you. Great knife, superior fish cleaning machine. Standard of the industry, folks. Standard of the industry. All right, this one you can tell gets used a little less. It's already coming off, if you can see that. There you go. You can really see it right there. You can 
really see it right there. I'm looking through the viewfinder of a GoPro Hero 5. Not the viewfinder. The little back screen. All right, so there you go. Kind of depressing. I actually thought that the black coating was something special. Obviously not. Let's see, I don't use the big boy as much because this is what I would use for really big fish. It's coming off right there at the tip. Where is it? No. No, but there you go. This one here is still pretty dang wicked, so we're going to put that one back in the sheath. I recommend when you have these, I know a lot, I've seen it a lot. Uh, when people have their, their Dexters here, they just wrap them in a towel or something and throw them in the boat. I recommend the sheaths are like seven bucks on Amazon or something. Get yourself the sheaths for these. You can mark them like I did if you're a real fish cleaning connoisseur like I am. I like cleaning fish. So I kind of take it serious, but I got to do it quick. Okay. And I just, I don't know, the, the, the part that I do, I enjoy. Now, it's really funny when you get into like sheep's head cleaning and all of a sudden everybody's a god dang expert. Oh my god. Sheep's head fishermen. There ain't nothing that drives me more crazy than them, them pile of know-it-alls. They always have. I've got, you know, fish uh, cleaning sheep's head f videos, and I think I actually had to turn the comments off on one of them because, oh, you're doing it wrong. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing... Yeah, shut the hell up. I'll... It's my fish... It's my video, and I'll do it the way I feel like it, and the way I've always been doing it. How about that? You know, why can't anybody just watch a fish cleaning video without smarting off about their opinion? Then if you don't like it, go somewhere else and watch another video, okay, of, you know, cleaning some other fish then. That's, that, that irritates the living hell out of me. But... This is just a follow-up to let you know. The black coating on the Dexters doesn't stay on, so you might as well not even purchase one that has the black coating. All right, and I wanted to show this. I pretty much assume, I mean, none of mine are that bad. I'm kind of assuming that if there's any super chefs out there or something, because that's who would pretty much use this, even though I must, I, another thing that I cannot find, maybe somebody can tell me, what is the, the uh, edge angle? I don't have, I need to buy an edge angle uh, guide that you put it in. I don't know, these, th these knives are so thin, I don't even know if it would work. Where you, it has, you know, a guide, and you put it in, and it tells you what angle. I'm guessing 20 degree. So you'd have to hold your knives at what you think is 20 degrees. All right. Or, better yet, here's what I have that I recommend to every single fisherman besides other sharpeners that I use. All right, well, I got this and it's used on eBay for 30 bucks free shipping or something, believe it or not, in Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, I bought from another person in Jacksonville, Florida. Always wanted one. But here's the thing that takes the guesswork out of everything. This here is a Spyderco Golden. What do they call this? A Golden? Golden Stone. This is a Spyderco Golden Stone. 
And you might say to yourself, why the hell does it look like a god dang duck's foot, Dave? Well, I'm going to show you why. Because you can put this down here like that, okay? And that is, right there, a 20 degree angle. So you would pull your knife straight down like this. Twenty degree angle. Now these aren't for knives that need to be totally reprofiled, that got giant chips in them, big flakes of rust. No, no folks. This is for maintained cutlery. Then you go over on this side, which is, I'm so right handed I can't do anything anywhere else. And you would pull it down the same way okay now the problem is when you bring in this where's your 20 degree angle you gotta hold it and hope you're hitting that 20 degree angle alright I believe that's how this one works but I got this for the big monster knives. All right. Ah, that's getting pretty wicked sharp. Let's see really how sharp it is. Okay, here's an old piece of paper. You know, they always do the paper tests on everything. Oh, no, it ain't that sharp. No? Okay. Well, we still need to work on these, but what I got down here, right on the, right at, oops, what I got down here, right attached to my Wolf Den cutting board is a strop. Okay. And then after I will get this really, really sharp, I will strop it like this. That's an old leather belt. And this is some compound green. Compound is used for high polish finish on copper, brass, stainless steel, and steel. And what it is, it's this green stuff. And this is nothing but an old leather belt right here, folks. You take this and see how that's going on. Oh, the camera. See how this is going on? Now I watched one guy and he said you need to melt this possibly onto your leather strop. Which is all fine and dandy, but you know, hey, I'm not I got this at Harbor Freight. It's not like I busted the bank here. I think the thing was like four bucks. Okay. And it might not be the perfect. You know, I'm really finding out some of these knife guys, you know, with the steel and the ooh. I mean, I, you know, they got no other hobby. That is it. I don't got time to be screwing around worried about the knife steel and this and that and getting the exact super duper stropping material and buying a strop. I made one and I tacked it with two galvanized nails to my goddamn cutting board. Okay. And let me tell you, I've been doing this to a lot of knives. And man, let me tell you, when you strop a knife like this, God, everything's in my way. When you strop a knife like this, this is how you're really getting that baby sharp because I also have a brand new, now you know me, you know me and my belt clipped Eldris, right? You know how I feel about this, these babies here. I strop the crap out of these. Really easy to do because it's got that scandy grind, that bevel right there. 
and you can just follow on that bevel, right? But then on top of that, as a EDC, you know I'm into that baby right there. That's the more top Q flex. Woo! Man, this, this thin blade here can put an absolute, oh my God, this strop absolutely kills on this thing because look how thin that blade is. Then, let me even enlighten y'all just on a little extra EDC. Here is another Mora. Look at that. Small, scanty ground utility blade. Perfect. Just like I always use this for cutting braided line on the boat, all kinds of boating tasks, I decided, eh, let me try this out. And man, I got this thing super sharp too. Oh man, it's very difficult to do here while I got the camera in the way. But you just go away from the edge. And that, that, uh, compound here fine does a fine sharpening of the edge very fine polishing polishing okay now this ain't no high-tech anything let me tell you you could buy all this crap um, stroppings and stuff and and all that why everybody can find a a junk belt and this is the rough side the rough side of the leather and most people will mount the leather you know on a separate board why I don't need to I'm right here half the time anyhow right but that in a nutshell is everything that I wanted to show you God, that, oh yeah oh my god this this thing is just unbelievable, unbelievably sharp because it's such a thin blade. The Mora Top Q Flex, I believe it's called. Um, also, you know, this is a great, just plain EDC, EDC blade. So, gets a nice mirror edge sort of the more you do this right there on that edge it's just shiny 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 so let's take a look see here oh yeah this is what I'm gonna get that is what I'm going to get my fillet knives too folks oh sorry that is what I'm going to be getting my fillet, fillet knives to do. So, I'm going to be going to be stropping them. I'm going to be getting the right angle. I'm assuming, I don't know. I'm assuming these all have, the edge is a 20 degree edge. So, um, I just wanted to show you all this. Um, kind of depressing here. But uh, you can see underneath, I'm hoping, I can't really see, I had, I'd have to put on my glasses, but underneath the black coating, which let me try something because the back side of this Mora right here, it's very sharp right on that edge. So let's see something. Oh yeah, it takes it right off. Look at that, it's coming right off. That whole, That blackness, look, oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that just put a whoop, a whooping on, that just put a whooping on this uh, Dexter Russell black finish. All right, let's try this. I hope you guys can see it, watch. Woo -hoo -hoo. All gone, but don't pay any more because it's black. I thought, I mean, this is sort of one of the top of the, absolute top of the line fish cleaning, you know, knives. Um, it's a real commercial grade knife. 
as is all Dexter Dexter Russell cutlery and uh, but there's no need to worry yourself over should I get the black blade or whatever all right that's pretty much all gone huh wow look at that see because the back spine of this more eldris is extremely sharp which is that's what everybody loves about them they're so that is one bad mammer jammer folks especially you go to my uh tools of the trade page and you put yourself on one of my uh spider code g clips which would be just like that that's a g clip on one of the top q flexes where i cut out, cut off the top that would normally look like this okay on the mortar sheath i cut off the top and i put the spider code g clip on there it raises it up so it's not in your way when you're sitting down or anything like that so that's just a little smattering of some knife chit chat here in the wolf den but I will be stropping the hell out of these and cleaning them up and sharpening them I don't know if I'm gonna use this because there is not a single video on YouTube about this Dexter Russell and how to use it you know no chef or anything's because you got to hold the angle and today the big deal in, in knife sharpening is getting that right angle the factory angle or changing the angle believe me I sit and watch I don't watch fishing videos unless it's Louisiana I don't watch fishing videos I watch knife stuff okay and of course I got my spider co triangle sharp maker here also All right. which you take these if you're not familiar how can you not be if you're watching a knife video Come on. These normally want to fall right out of here. Look at that son of a gun. I can't even get the hell. Get the damn. There it is. One side will be 40 degree. One side will be 30, 30 degree. This is the 30 degree side. This is the 40. So in all reality, 99% of the time, I'm putting it in here. These are the coarser stones. Then you take Al uh, or Sal Glesser of Spider Club has an entire video of how to do this on any knife. That's the reason I love this because this is does any knife. Okay, this is these are the little um, coarser stones, and then of course you've got your super fine, and then you can even order even finer. And then you can even get diamond okay so that's that you should know about this if you have any inkling of being a knife guy so there's a big old pile of crap on the workbench here in the wolf den and say thanks for watching Dave thanks for watching and I uh, just wanted to show you hmm these because I'm a knife guy I'm a flay knife guy I'm not into all these, all these, you know, flip, 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 all these flipping and flipping and thumb studdings and all that type of knife stuff. I'm into working knives. I like utility and working stuff, stuff that works, goes out and works for a living. That's practical. And you know me, utilitarian. That's what I'm all about. I do have my simple pleasures of some really cool pocket knives, but it's not like I go ballistic on pocket knives. 
as a matter of fact, in my world, a fixed blade is the only blade. So, again, say thanks for watching, Dave. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do all that fancy stuff that everybody always talks about. And this has just been a little bit of uh, Jetty Wolf FYI in a wolf den. See you on the next one. Just think, when you're done sharpening and stropping, especially when you got a lot of fish to clean, this is the way it should be. This is a serrated blade. Serrations always are a little tougher. And then there's just the flat ground. So, what does your fillet knives look like? I wanna go fishing. Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away